Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding double brackets with subsequent simplification required. Now there's nothing new in this video at all as long as you know how to expand out double brackets or single brackets. It's just that once we've expanded the brackets we'll need to simplify the expression by collecting like terms and you should know how to do that as well if you're watching this video. So let's expand out the 3x plus 2 squared. Now remember when something is squared it means you times it by itself. So 3x plus 2 multiplied by itself, 3x plus 2. Let's just write this again. And we're going to expand out each of the brackets. We've got a double bracket here and a single bracket expansion. So remember to expand out two brackets, we do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. So the 3x here gets multiplied by each of those things in the second bracket. And the 2 in the first bracket gets times by each of the things in the second bracket. So let's do the 3x multiplied by these first. 3x times 3x is 9x squared, not 3x squared, because 3 times 3 is 9. The 3x times 2 is 6x. And now we do the 2 multiplied by each of these things. The 2 times the 3x is 6x. And the 2 times the 2 is 4. And now we've got this single bracket expansion. So remember to expand out a single bracket, we do the thing in the front of the bracket multiplied by each of the things inside the bracket. So we do the 5 times the 3x, 5 lots of 3x is 15 lots of x. And 5 times minus 5 is negative 25. And now we've done the expansion bit, we want to do the simplified bit, so we collect like terms. So terms collect together if they involve the same powers and the same variables. So this is an x squared term, there's no other term with an x squared with the x and the same power. So that's the only x squared term. I like to put a, a little stripe through just to keep track of what we've got left. Now we've got lots of x terms. We've got the 6x plus 6x plus 15x. In total that's 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 15 is 27 lots of x. Cross these out. And then finally we've got these constant terms. Constant terms are just terms which don't have a variable in them, so no letter. 4 minus 25 is minus 21. And that is the final answer. Let's do the second one. Again, we just expand out all the brackets first and then we can simplify it. So, single bracket expansion here. We do the 4x multiplied by each of the things inside the bracket. So 4x times 2x is 8x squared. And the 4x times the 5 is 20x. And then we've also got to expand out these two brackets. So we do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second bracket. So the x here gets multiplied by each thing in the second bracket, and the 5 here gets multiplied by each thing in the second bracket. x times x is x squared. x times minus 3 is minus 3x. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. So we've done the expandy bit. We now need to do the simplification bit. So uh, what x squared terms do we have? Well, we've got an x squared term here, an x squared term here. 8 lots of x squared plus 1 lot of x squared is 9 lots of x squared. Then let's look at the x terms. 20 lots of x minus 3 lots of x is 17 lots of x plus 5 lots of x is 22 lots of x. And finally, we've got that minus 15 minding its own business at the end. And that is the final answer.